Welcome to Electro Online. Here's our next example of how to use proper deductive reasoning to determine which of the four conclusions are true. We were given these four conclusions. John bought a hot dog, Mary bought a hot dog, John and Mary went to the game, and John drank Mary's Coke. So which of those four statements are correct? And here we have to base that on these four rules. Rule number one, if John goes to the game, he will buy a hot dog. Rule number two, if the game is not sold out, both John and Mary will go. Rule number three, if Mary goes to the game, she will buy a Coke. And rule number four, the game is not sold out. So based on that information, can we figure out which of those four statements are true? And sometimes it helps to kind of draw a flow chart, as we call it, of the possible chain of events. To start, at some location right here in the flowchart, we must figure out which of those rules is the primary rule that helps us decide what else may happen. And ultimately, we realize here that if the game is not sold out, both John and Mary will go, which means if the game is sold out, they will not go, and if they don't go, well, then John can buy a hot dog and Mary can buy a Coke. So the first decision needs to be, is the game sold out? If the game is sold out, then John and Mary will not go, and therefore John will not buy a hot dog, and Mary will not buy a Coke. But if the game is not sold out, then John and Mary will go to the game, John will buy a hot dog, and Mary will buy a Coke. So that's kind of the logic event, the logic process that we need to go through to try and determine if these four statements are true. So let's see which way we should go in the flowchart. So here we see that the game is not sold out. That means, is the game sold out? Yes, that's not correct. No is correct, which means we'll take the bottom path. Then it's the logical conclusion that John and Mary will go to the game. That's this rule right here. If the game is not sold out, both John and Mary will go. And if John goes to the game, he will buy a hot dog. If Mary goes to the game, she will buy a Coke. So this is a true statement and this is a true statement, and this is a true statement. All right, now based upon that, which of these four statements are true? John bought a hot dog, and yes, that is indeed true because John went to the game, and when he went to the game, he will buy a hot dog based on the fact that the game was not sold out. So this first one is indeed a true statement. Secondly, Mary bought a hot dog. Well, when we go down here, we see that John buy the hot dog, but Mary will buy a Coke. So that's not a true statement. Mary does not buy hot dog. Third, John and Mary went to the game. So we come down here and we read that yes, John and Mary will go to the game because the game was not sold out. So therefore, this is a true statement. And finally, John drank Mary's Coke. And we look here and we see, well, that John bought a hot dog, Mary bought a Coke, but there's no indication that either John or Mary drank the Coke. It's presumably that Mary drank the Coke, but we don't know. We just know that she bought the Coke, and we definitely don't know for sure if John drank Mary's Coke. So this is not a true statement based upon the rules that we have. And that's how we figured out. Again, find out based on the rules, what is the primary starting point, and then how the rules will then evolve one to the other in a logical, deductive way. And that is how it's done.